back to my channel if you're new here my name is natasha and i am your favorite natural hair guru i am here to help you grow your natural hair while having fun so please consider subscribing and if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you're a returning subscriber hello what it do thank you so much for coming back thank you for picking this channel and yes guys i made it to 300 subscribers i'm so excited thank you thank you thank you so much for the support thank you for all your amazing comments thank you for all the likes that you've been giving me just thank you okay so today i am bringing you guys a video that is mainly focusing on post braids um routine taking care of your hair well, i don't know what to call it really but we'll see we'll figure it out by but, but basically i'm just going to show you how to take care of your hair right after doing your braids so yeah let's get it started i am going to show you how i wash my hair and the products that i use and how i moisturize afterwards okay yeah so stay tuned so first off i'm going to take a long tail comb to remove the dandruff that builds up um when you do your braids so i make sure you have like a towel or something so the dandruff does not you know make a mess so i am gonna remove the dandruff so here's a little fun fact um when you wash your hair uh you can never remove dandruff with water so you have to literally remove it before washing your hair or it's gonna be there afterwards so that's exactly what i am doing i am just gonna remove it by literally scratching it off my scalp and that's the amount of dandruff that i removed by far and i'm just gonna do it off camera and just make sure that my hair is clean especially in front that's where the dandruff is usually found so yes <laughs> So now I'm just going to take my spray bottle that has water and I will just start um, spraying it onto my hair just to make it a little wet to be able to absorb whatever product that I'll be using onto my hair. So I will do that and next up I will section the my hair into fours and I will just separate it and clip it um, separately. <laughs> I'm gonna take the head and shoulders anti dandruff shampoo and I will just um, put that onto my scalp my scalp only I do not use that for my hair and guys listen I do not recommend this shampoo I do not it's a bit too harsh for my hair it's a bit too harsh for my skin it's just honestly I do not recommend it I'm just using it because I don't want to throw it out and yeah so i'm just gonna put that onto my scalp and it gets really really irritated by how strong this shampoo is so next up i'm gonna take my tresemme which i also use because i can't throw it out i'm gonna take my tresemme and i'm just gonna apply it onto my hair it's a conditioner i do not apply shampoo on my hair so I'm going to take that tresemme and apply it onto my hair, twist it and bantu knot it until I have applied onto like the rest of my <laughs> Thank you. 
now that that's done I'm gonna go to the shower and wash this off and that's basically it so when I'm done washing I take a shirt um, not necessarily an old shirt just any shirt and I hold it onto my hair to absorb the moisture I do not rub, rub it against my hair or anything like that so now that that's done I am gonna separate my hair into fours I think and then I am gonna use the hair minus to dip condition and I am gonna infuse it with honey just for I don't know to make my hair um, shine a little bit more so I mix it and I take and apply it onto my hair so you want to make sure that your hair is damp enough um, so that you do not use a lot of deep conditioning cream um, so that's what I did I sprayed a little bit of water even though I'm right straight from the shower and then I am gonna put on my deep conditioner and I'm gonna twist it and bun to knot it and move on to the next one so guys can we talk for a second about how long my hair is i mean it's crazy i get shocked every time okay but that's besides the point so i'm going to show you one more time how i applied my dip conditioning cream and yeah I take a little bit and I apply it onto my scalp or the roots of my hair just a little bit and then after that I put on a plastic bag and wait for about 30 minutes you can use a shower cap um, or you can use a plastic bag it really doesn't matter and wait for about 30 minutes and afterwards go rinse it out so I am done washing my hair for the second time I'm seriously over this whole wash day thing. I am tired. Okay. And um, okay. So because I wanted something very light, I am going to apply just a live-in conditioner by, by Originals. And I am just going to apply that. Does my hair need to be detangled? Yes. But I'm giving it a break from all the braids and straining that it's been going through. Does it need to be trimmed? Probably. But I'm not going to do it either. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to apply a little bit of live-in conditioner and also I'm going to apply, I'm also going to apply cream, um, and that's, that's about it. I'm going to apply my dark and lovely, um, hair cream, hair butter, and that's, that's basically it. I'm just going to put it in two little ponytails and leave it like that for about a week I think that's done i have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below subscribe and i love you so much guys bye